the law of one price and purchasing power parity. The law of one price states that different prices of traded goods will tend to be equal in the presence in the absence of tariffs, trade barriers, and exorbitant shipping rates. The law of one state price states that in an efficient market, identical goods must have only one price. Relating this, purchasing power parity's exchange rate equalizes the purchasing power of different currencies in their home countries for a given basket of goods. It is often used to compare the standard of living between countries rather than a per capita gross domestic product comparison at market exchange rates. Measuring purchasing power parity have different indexes. One entertaining one is the Big Mac Index. Uh, this is made popular by The Economist magazine. It takes a look at Big, uh, Big Mac burgers from McDonald's in different countries. Uh, if a Big Mac costs $4 in the U.S. and $3 in Britain, the PPP exchange rate would be £3 for $4. Uh, when we calculate that, we have over here 4 and the rate would be 1.333. There are some inaccuracies with this because of market conditions. Obviously, if you bought a burger in London um, opposed to a rural town in um, the United States, there would be a large difference because London would have a very high cost for rental and labor and so forth and so on, where a small, uh, small town in the U.S. would have uh, much less uh, overhead. But it's, although it's not perfect, it does still offer significant insight and an easy understanding of purchasing power parity. Um, the other the PPP hy hypothesis is that free trade of goods will align exchange rates with their purchasing power value. However, there are many economists and analysts that reject this and believe that a better prediction is by the consumer price index based on relative gross domestic products.